Om Shanti, welcome to 5th of February's Kali Basing. Supreme Father wants us to experience the authority that is the Almighty's authority's powers given to us. He wants us to become a master Almighty authority. So he says, may you be a master Almighty authority and experience every power in a practical way according to the time. Every power, there are eight powers. Power to discriminate, power to judge, power to tolerate, power to cooperate, power to adjust power to withdraw, power to pack up and there are many more other powers to actually the main ones are eight then they are the offshoots of that. So may you be a master almighty authority and experience every power in a practical way according to the time. To be a master means that whatever power you invoke according to the time you experience that power in a practical form that very moment. Let's say a time has come where you have to judge, you have to make a decision. So I have the power to make decisions and I always make precise and accurate decisions with purity, cleanliness, clarity in my heart. No judgment, no greed. Imagine how will you feel at that time if you're saying these things to yourself in your mind. Exactly. So as soon as you order it, it should become present. Let it not be that you order the power of tolerance and the power to face comes in front of you instead. So somebody is saying something, you should tolerate and keep mum. Instead of that, you start speaking out and you start, you start getting against that person's views or you start opposing that person's thoughts and that's where power to face. So God says, as soon as you order it, it should come in present of you. Let it not be that you order the power of tolerance and the power to face comes in front of you instead. That means I have to speak out politely maybe. But that's the time to keep quiet. That is not called being a master. So have a trial as to whether the power you need at a particular time comes to you to be used at that time. If there is the difference of even a second, then instead of being victorious, you would be defeated. So let's say after the scene has crossed and you realize, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Or you, should, or you think, oh, I should have said it instead of just keeping mum. It's already gone. It's already passed. So that second was there, that was very important. So it was a crucial time to discern and to judge what to use. Speak, not speak. Say it, not say it. And this is something which we need to have. This can only come when we are detached from any expectations from the world, from people. Then we can speak the truth. So truth is power. Om Shanti.